It was the first week of December 1941. Christmas was on the minds of many Americans. The streets were starting to buzz with shoppers, families, husbands, wives, and sweethearts, unaware that soon many of them would be separated by war. On a quiet Sunday morning, December 7th, Pearl Harbor was attacked, launching America into World War II. Suddenly, all focus diverted to the war effort. Men marched off to war and women took care of things on the home front, which meant burning candles at both ends, keeping their households running efficiently, and for many women, it also meant taking on jobs outside the home. They answered their country's call to fill job vacancies left by men. War production was at full speed. Airplanes, ships, tanks, ammunition, and other equipment was being mass-produced, and it could not have been done without the help of six million women who accepted the challenge. They took on jobs as riveters, welders, drill press operators, you name it, they did it. Jobs that before the war were primarily done by men. These women became known as Rosie the Riveters. In 1945, the news rang out around the world that the war was over and people took to the streets to celebrate. It was obvious that women were proud of their role in winning the war. Here, a sign says, women ordnance workers helped to win our war. When soldiers returned home, each of these women were able to greet them with a clear conscience, knowing they had done their share to help them and their country. Let's keep the spirit of Rosie the Riveter alive and keep those home fires burning by supporting our men and our women serving in the military. <laughs>